crew are after, they hit like thunder and disappear like smoke. You go in alone, you won't ever touch them. I need your help, Dom. I need your team. All right, Hobbs. You got the best crew in the world right here in front of you. There's something that happened when we make our way to the set the first day. It always feels like we were just here a week ago. You crazy son of a bitch! You know this. What up, man? There's a great camaraderie that exists in front and behind the camera that makes these films what they are. Lens finders. <laughs> so this is Fast and Furious. Yeah. Time out of rehearse. All right, here we go. Fly, please. Let's roll. Camera. She's a mom now. She knows she needs to protect her baby, but she knows what's running through those boys' veins. And you can't keep them at home for too long. And if it's something as important as bringing a family member back, I think it's essential. Even though seemingly everything's cool and they're living a good life there in Tenerife, he's always walking around with a dark cloud. You know, they first hear what's going on. Brian doesn't want to see it or realize it because he doesn't want to disrupt what he has, because for once he feels like he has stability and he has a home. Brian, remember the second you go through those doors, everything changes. And to go and disturb that is just, don't mess with my life. Action. Now that we have a lot of family members back, I wanted to play with the idea of trust. It wasn't that hard to find you, Toretto. And so when we first see Hobbs on Dom's patio, he has a mission that he feels nobody else in the world can do. But you get the sense in the beginning of the movie that something's not right. You must miss home. And I don't know if it's Dom's connection to Letty that makes him feel a little uneasy at the top of the movie. The fact that Hobbs has to go to Dom is not only the last resort, but it's the best resort. And what got me excited to bring Hobbs back this time was the element of Dom and Hobbs actually working together. This would be interesting. At the end of Fast Five, the Hobbs says to Dom on that bridge, Toretto, I'll see you soon. So when he shows up at the beginning of Fast Six, the audience have to be prepared for anything. I like to think of that relationship as brothers who have had to fight one another to prove the worthiness of their brotherhood. Hobbs doesn't want to enforce the law. He wants to exercise justice. We're going to witness his arm explode <laughs> live on set. And Fast Six, I'm a part of the Mile High Fun Club. <laughs> but when that call came in, he was in the middle of my party and one sex face. You know, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm gonna show up and contribute in, in a way that only I can. Why do I smell baby oil? You keep running a pie hole, you're gonna smell an ass kicking. From back in Too Fast, Too Furious, I've established that I have a problem with authority. <laughs> and I'm almost the voice of the people, you know, because Dom has this voice that's so deep. It's almost like you can get caught up in what he's saying, like the strings just start playing. <laughs> I come in like, look, man, you can have a deep voice all you want. I'm not having it. So now we work for the Hawk? Things changed. We're getting paid, right? We first end up with Tej in Costa Rica. He's around the Spanish women. He's still buying exotic and very expensive cars. God damn. That's serious business right there, man. And he's on the beach, he's having fun. Hello? But Tej understands that if Dom calls, he's always gonna make sure that he does what he needs to do. Thank God! Finally some equipment I can work with. Of course, he's still the tech guy, but you know, I started to get a little bit of action. <laughs> Which is something I've been begging for for quite some time. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've been working out hard the entire time we've been on set. You know, I would go to Vin's trailer to work out in his gym. You looking good, man. Thanks, looking thanks good. for your gym, my brother. Ah, ah, ah. 
Better make sure you get her a big rock, man, because she don't look like she'll be that easily impressed. And if it's not a big rock, it better be big somewhere else. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's why all your girlfriends wear so much bling, huh? Han is the guy that everybody wants to have a beer with. But when the older brother calls for help, Tom, we're on the first plane or the train to go join the family. Let's go. Giselle trusts Tom to make the call, and now is when he really needs them. So she'll do anything for him. In this one, she fights guys, she plays with a weapon. She's flying off of motorcycle, airplane. It's like Superwoman. <laughs> so this is worth billions, huh? Name your price, Don. This team, we are not driven by money. We live by a certain code, and you know, the, the money gives you access to certain things, but money never buys happiness. It never buys family. And that's why this theme of family continues through the franchise. The great thing is that, you know, our cast genuinely likes one another. We all get along. We have so much fun. We laugh each and every day with each other. I was talking to Vin today and I said, no, it's been like 10 years. And he's like, 14, I mean, it's been practically 14 years, which is so crazy. And it keeps getting more and more fun. <laughs> it's like a traveling circus. We've all been doing it for so long. When you run the course of 13 years, you, you grow with all of that. Everyone's got a little more pop, a little more strut to their stuff, and it's cool seeing that. We love each other and get along, and I'm very proud of that energy that uh, has been created in this franchise. And the fact that everyone continues to come back, it's so damn cool. This behind the scenes shit is the movie right here. This is, these are the moments.